Okay, so another situation. Hydraulics. A trapezoidal canal has a bottom width of 6 meters and a side slope of 2 horizontal to 1 vertical. The depth of flow is 1.2 meters and the rate of flow is 20.4 cubic meters per second. The coefficient of roughness is 0 0.014. So evaluate the specific energy, obtain the slope of the canal using Manning's formula, and determine the average shearing stress in Pascal at the boundary surface of the channel. So trapezoidal canal. Side slope is 2 is to 1. 6 meters yung width. And the depth of flow is uh, 1.2 meters. Alright. Well, una, kailangan natin yung mga dimensions dito, no? Unahin ko lang muna yung mga prerequisite. Okay, cut ko lang sa dito. Ito yung style ko. Tatawagi ko tong X and X. Okay, equal yan. Kasi the same side slope sila. So, kung 6 meters yan, 6 meters din to. So, using this side slope, we have here the triangle. A variation proportion, no? We have 2, uh, x is to 2, equal to 1.2 is to 1. The ratio and proportion na yung gagawin ko. So, yung x dyan is just twice of 1.2. Ratio and proportion, no? So, x, or the x over 1.2, 2 is to 1. So, 2.4 yung value ng x. So, meron kang x, then the total top width of the trapezoidal flow is 6 plus dalawang x. 6 plus dalawang 2.4 is 10.8 meters. Then, I'll just solve this first. Okay? Pupunin ko lang dito una yung ating ito, y. Tawag ko siyang y kasi kailangan natin yan for the wetted perimeter later. So, if uh, we have x and we have here 1.2, masasolve natin yan by Pythagorean theorem. Na? Kasi triangle to. So, y is square root of 1.2 squared plus x squared. Then, known yung x. You have 2.683. Then, I will solve the area of flow. That is a trapezoid. So, that is equal to 1.2 over 2 times 6 plus 10.8. And that's 10.08 square meters. So, evaluate the specific energy. So the specific energy is uh, ano lang, uh, V squared over 2G plus D. That is simply the velocity head plus the static head. Okay? So kailangan natin ng velocity of flow. Uh, what we have here is the flow rate or Q. So makukuha natin yung uh, velocity of flow using this formula. Okay? So yung ating velocity is discharge over area from here. The discharge is 20.4. The area is 10.08. So, kuha natin si velocity. And we can now solve for the specific energy. Ito lang yung formula natin dyan. The static head, kasi open channel stop. Plus the, ano, the velocity head plus the static head. Okay? Velocity known over 2 times gravity plus the depth, 1.2. So, you have 1.409. 1.41 decimeters. Obtain the slope of the canal using Manning's formula. So, ito lang yung formula natin dyan. The velocity using Manning's formula is 1 over n, r raised to 2 thirds, and s raised to 1 half. So, you need to familiarize this one talaga kasi ito yung paulit-ulit sa board exam. And formula based lang siya, kadalasan. Yung R is the hydraulic radius. Yung S yung unknown dito, the slope. So, the hydraulic radius is area over wetted perimeter. Yung nabasang perimeter. Okay? Known yung area. Yung wetted perimeter, again, wetted from the term wetted, yung nabasa. Ito yung nabasa. Ito, plus ito, plus ito. So, that is simply 6 plus dalawang y. No? Wetted. 6, ito y yan, ito y, ito 6 meters. So, substitute na natin, the area is 10.08, and the wetted perimeter is 6 plus dalawang value ni y, 2.683. 
we have 0 0.887 meters. So, meron na tayong R. Of course, we have here the velocity. Yung slope is our unknown. Yung N is the roughness coefficient, given yan. So, you have 2.024, 1 over N. Yung R natin is 0 0.887 raised to 2 thirds. S is our unknown. Kapuha natin yung slope of the canal 0 0.00094. Number 26, determine the average shearing stress uh, uh, in Pascal at the boundary surface of the channel. So, formula lang din to, no? but I will show you the derivation. Saan galing yung formula? Tingnan natin sa in 3D. Alright, so we will just consider 1 meter strip. Now, kung merong flow dito, nagpo-flow yung ating uh, water, then meron siyang na-exert na force. Tama ba? Meron siyang exerted force. Now, because of that force, Nagkakaroon ng shearing stresses at the boundary. Ito yung shearing stresses at the boundary of the of the flow. So, perimeter dyan. Kasi i-resist na yung forces dyan. Okay? And the shearing stress is just force over area. Shearing area A sub B. Now, we will define this one in terms of variable muna para ma-derive natin yung formula. Yung force dito, take note, meron tayong weight weight ng water weight ng water weight ng liquid so that must be tangential weight kasi naka-incline yung ating ano naka-incline yung ating channel tangential weight natin weight tangential weight uh, which is the tangential weight is the weight of water that's the gamma times volume okay we must multiply it by the slope kasi kung titingnan natin yan uh, for, for example ito yung slope natin uh, ito yung weight natin. Nakatingin tayo sa side. Ito yung ating tangential weight. Ito naman yung normal weight. So, itong tangential weight is uh, approximately the weight times the slope. Ito slope. Ito tayong slope. Okay? So, gamma volume times S. And the volume here, we have your gamma. The volume is the cross-sectional area of flow. Yung A. Uh, consider tayo ng 1 meter strip times 1 meter times the slope. Okay? Times the slope. And the shearing area, take note, yung shearing area is ito. Itong kung saan nakadistribute yung shearing stresses dyan. That is the perimeter, wetted perimeter, ito, itong nabasa, times 1 meter. Yeah? Wetted perimeter times 1 meter. Ako i-substitute natin to dito yung F as ito and yung shearing areas that one. Tawagin natin siyang tau o kato, kasi ganito siya sinusulat sa mga book. So you have here the force as gamma area times S. Okay, yung ating AB is wetted perimeter. Magkakansi lang yung 1 meter dyan. And familiar yan, yung A over wetted perimeter is the hydraulic radius. Tama ba? So, the formula, uh, boundary shearing stress is gamma RS. Uh, you may mem memorize that one. Hindi mo na kailangan siya kay derive. Nakita lang natin yung derivation. Okay? So, meron tayo nito. Nakuha natin kanina. So, gamma ng water, 9810 newtons per cubic meters yung ginamit ko. Newtons per cubic meters. Yung R natin is 0 0.887 and the slope is 0.00094 yung lalabas dito is 8.179 pascal 8.2 pascal 